Thoracic anesthesia presents a challenge to the anesthesiologist. The long-term survival of patients with undergoing any type of thoracic surgery is poor and they are at significant risk of post-operative pulmonary complications. However, with risk identification, preoperative optimization and appropriate anesthetic management, the risks of developing post-operative pulmonary complications can be reduced even in patients with severe disease. Patients vary in their presentation from the asymptomatic and undiagnosed to those with a severely disabling systemic disease. Optimization for surgery includes preoperative treatment of reversible airway obstruction and respiratory infections, smoking cessation, and possibly nutritional interventions. Meticulous intraoperative monitoring combined with a sound understanding of pathophysiological mechanisms underlying air trapping will help clinicians strike a balance between permissive hypercapnia and adequate ventilation. It is useful to think of the respiratory function in four related but somewhat independent areas. Respiratory mechanics, gas exchange, ventilation perfusion, and cardiorespiratory interaction. Recent advances in anesthetic care have improved outcomes for patients coming for thoracic surgery. The package includes number one, anesthesia for a child with mediastinal mass, number two, COPD for emergency laparotomy, number three, capnography, number four, chest x ray, number five, lung resection, number six, one lung ventilation, number seven, Prediction of post-op pulmonary function test. Number eight, negative pressure pulmonary edema. Number nine, pulmonary circulation. Number 10, pulmonary artery pressure. And number 11, ventilation perfusion matching. We wish you a happy reading.